Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I have an unboxing. Uh, I'm a little bit late to the game with this. Uh, these have been out over a year, maybe about a year and a half. So YouTube is already coming down with unboxing videos of this particular truck. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to have a quick overview, a quick look at it and initial impressions. So uh, yeah, I've been after a decent crawler, uh, something that's function over form. Um, yeah, so this was the best bang for buck. So I've watched loads of YouTube videos and stuff trying to decide which truck was the best for my budget. So I was initially going to buy an SEX-10 2 builder's kit um, but by the time I put the electronics and the body and wheels etc on it it would have worked out more than what this cost so I watched loads and loads of videos on this loads of demonstrations, overviews, uh, pros and cons that sort of thing and yeah, it seems to be this seems to be the best bang for buck. At least here in the UK, it seems to be better value uh, in the US. But yeah, it was uh, within my budget. So I wanted a truck that was a good performer, something that I could take out. The Land Rover that I'm building is more a scaler, so it's designed to look real over its ability um, whereas this is a highly capable crawler slash trail truck um, yeah so it doesn't look quite as real um, the body on it is unlicensed but the wheels and tires are licensed but I really like the look of that that truck the body style on it so we'll get it open here. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go over all the ins and outs of it. I'm just going to pop it open and give you my initial impressions and we'll have an overview of it. Okay, well that's it out of the box to start with. Uh, user manual, stickers, instructions, all in a bag there. Uh, it looks like the radio is underneath. I uh, have a bag of extras here. So the, the main feature of this truck is it has uh, an overdrive feature which means it spins the front wheels slightly faster than the back wheels. So I think a standard is 6% overdrive. So as it's climbing it allows the front wheels to grab rather than the back wheels pushing it and flipping it backwards. So it comes with a spare set of gears that allows you to increase the overdrive to I think it's 11% so I'm going to do that to it I'm going to put it up to 11% and I'm just going to leave it I have plans to upgrade this but I'm in no immediate hurry I just wanted a truck that I can pop out of the box and use so here's the radio got a bind plug uh, FCC statement uh, instructions manual and the radio itself pretty basic cheap little radio but has quite a few adjustments on it so uh, it takes four double A's it looks uh, actually very similar to <laughs> this is the radio from a, an FTX Outback and uh, yeah, it's pretty much identical mould. I don't know if the electronics inside are, are different, but there's definitely more adjustments on the uh, element one. But yeah, exactly the same mould. There it is. First thing I notice is it has foldable mirrors. So if you fall over on the side, they should fold back and not snap off. 
which is a nice feature. Okay, yep, really nice looking body on these. Uh, like I said, the body is not licensed, but yeah, it does look pretty scale in my opinion. Nice sag on the suspension there. Perfect. So the wheels and tires are licensed. Their wheels are method wheels and the tires are general grabbers. So they do feel nice and soft. Uh, yeah, they're basically a, a general purpose tire. So they're a jack of all trades, that sort of thing. Try and get these body pins out here. We'll have a look at the chassis. Yeah, so it does have uh, front LEDs in it. That's what the wire is for. And there is a, an extra plug there. I'm guessing this if you want to wire up your own rear lights, I probably won't bother. After watching the reviews on YouTube, everybody's complaint was about this front bumper. It sticks out far too far in front of the body. So as you come up to a hill or a rock, the bumper just hits before the tires get a chance to grab and pull it up. So that'll be a first thing coming off. And I knew that before I bought it. So I ordered this at the same time, which is a front bumper from uh, Element RC Trail Walker, which is the same truck as this, but has a different body on it and different bumpers. So it comes in this kit, has the bumper there, and it also comes with three little scale GoPro cameras, which is pretty cool, and a couple of uh, external antenna or aerials, which will probably wind up sticking on somewhere. So that's a cool nice little bonus there. I knew everyone was complaining about this bumper, so I decided I would fix that right away. So that'll be coming off before I even run this thing. So it has a Reedy ESC, Reedy motor. Uh, it's a five pole motor. I think it's, oh God, I can't remember now. Is it 16 turn or 26 turn? I'll put an annotation up. Uh, yeah, uh, five forty can I believe it? I believe and uh, the receiver and the receiver box here. I believe it's a Reedy servo as well. It is yes. And there's also a spot here beside it for another servo. Uh, to put on a winch servo. So it has provisions for a winch straight out of the box. You just need to provide the winch servo. So I'm going to do that as well. Stick a servo or a servo winch on it. Very cool. Uh, yeah, really excited to try this out. They're meant to be a very capable little crawler. Uh, very comparable to the TRX4 Sport. So uh, over here in the UK, this is about uh, 80 quid cheaper. 80, 80 to 100 quid cheaper than a TRX Sport so it was a no brainer to choose this and loads and loads of upgrades available for these brass bits for the axles uh, wheels, weighted wheels hardened parts for the plastic yeah loads and loads of upgrades that it can do in the future so there you are, like I said just a quick overview just a quick uh, show off of my new truck uh, already it looks super cool in the scale garage I'm not planning on putting an interior in this or doing any major mods uh, I may paint it at some stage but yeah for now it's just getting used as it is so I hope you enjoyed guys if you've had any experience with these trucks leave a comment below don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one bye for now so just a quick addendum here, one thing I failed to mention is the, the box 
actually folds out and has a scale garage on the reverse of the of the print so I'll do that now I'll unfold it and give you a quick look at what that looks like nice little feature nice little extra There they are, that's the little scale garage comes with. It's not a very good shape, uh, but it would, suffice, it would suffice for taking a few pictures. Loads of detail on the floor there, oil stains, tire tracks. The door with loads of stickers and stuff on it. And then it says uh, AE, so what's that? Associated Electrics Garage. <laughs> 